Grapes of Wrath. All right, Grapes of Wrath. How would we do that one? Oh, that one. This is, the Grapes of Wrath has a lot for this a one. A lot. <laughs> a lot, right? Let's hear some. Let's go. Some of you guys in the back. What did you guys do for Grapes of Wrath? All right, sure, Chris. Joel's son run away from... Noah? Oh, two of them? No, no, no. One is not a son because he's married to his sister then. Connie is, yeah, two of them ran away. Uh huh. So they ran away because of what? The challenge of? We can call that every day or we can call that big, right? The dust bowl will be the big thing, them losing their jobs, they have no food. Or the everyday things like just how am I going to feed myself? How am I going to take care of my pregnant wife, right? And what do they choose to do? Run away. So they are defined as losers, right? Or cowards or whatever, right? That is who they are, right? Do you guys see that? Yeah, yeah okay. What else? Did someone do anything different? Yes. Rose of Sharon. Okay. Uh, although they face, uh, what is it, poverty? Yep. At the end, they meet a uh, starving man in the park, but she still shows kindness to the old man. Yeah. Yeah. She lost her child, right? I mean, none of you are mothers, but I mean, if a mother loses a child, it's a very devastating event. So she lost her child, right? And that defined her as still like, oh, I'm not going to let this break me. I'm still going to show compassion to my fellow man, right? So yeah, Grapes of Wrath had a lot. Yeah, one more. Also, the gospel itself can be a challenge. Right? What? Well, yeah, it the is. It's the big one. Did not run away. They Which they family did not run away? No, Jones. The Joe family? family? Uh huh. They find themselves as more of like a loving family. Yeah, they didn't let the, the troubles of their situation tear them apart. And so that defines them as a strong, cohesive family, right? That supports each other. So I think you guys are starting to see how these books can what? You can use them for many different things, right? And also, the prompts are also what? Very open ended. Right? You can use different books for this prompt, and you can use the books, f and you can use, you can use different books for the prompt, and you can use the one book for different prompts. Right? Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, yeah. It's kind of off topic, but I, I said that Roger Sharon epitomizes kindness. Does it make sense? If you're trying to say that her struggles define her as being a kind person. Does everyone see that? Like everything you do is for the your thesis, your main idea, like what you're trying to support. The word epitomizes. 